Hi, I'm Randall Wall, president of the Salt Lake Real Estate Investor Association, and this is my compadre and sidekick, Trevor Thompson, who's awesome. I'm the valet driver today. He's the valet driver. He's also one of our best closers that we have, and one of the best closers in the valley, I would say. But uh, we're heading out to look at a property. You want to tell us about it, Trevor? Yeah. Um, this property we're going to see is one that we bought last week. This is a situation where when I first met with the lady, uh, in fact, she filmed a testimonial video for us. When I first looked at the property, she was facing foreclosure. She was within two and a half weeks of the foreclosure date, which happens to be today, the 17th of September. So two weeks ago, I met her, we walked through the house. She had her nephew living with her, um, things like that. She was behind, I think, nine months on the mortgage payment. And, you know, in a situation where she has a place to go, but she's kind of worried still about her credit and about what to do with the house and how to go about moving. So what I did is I, I told her, listen, number one, we can stop the foreclosure. That's, that's kind of the easy part. We just have to figure out a plan for what price works for you and how much money you need because if it forecloses, you'll get nothing, right? Right. So what we did is we gave her money um, we paid all of the past due payments current, and we had to do that first before we bought the home. We had to pay it all current and have an agreement with her. So that we wouldn't go to foreclosure. Yeah. We wanted to, we wanted to keep her in the house long enough to make a deal. And so on our part, you know, we pay, you know, 1500 bucks or whatever it is for a payment so that, that it pulls it out of foreclosure. And we're doing it all in good faith. Yeah. You know, because we have, there's nothing there, you know, we we just put it up there so that we have some time to be able to, to close the deal, right? Yeah. See, and then we can decide, is it better to buy the property from her and remodel it ourselves, or is it better to list the property on the MLS and, you know, get as much as we can for it in its current condition? In this situation, there was enough work that the house needed that we decided we better just buy it and fix the problems. And by the time it goes back on the market here in maybe about two to three months, it will be a much nicer property and a better situation for her because we're gonna continue paying the payments. In the meantime, her credit goes up and it shows as a good paid debt instead of a foreclosure. And then also it helps improve the neighborhood and the valley and you know, it's a new property that a family can live in rather than a dump. That's good. No, that's awesome. So sometimes we, we uh, when we're heading out to this house, sometimes, you know, people get into hard deals. So I recently did one where a guy had a rental, which is a great thing. You know, rental properties are the way to go. So he had a rental property, and he went in and started remodeling it. And as soon as he got it all gutted out, uh, you know, he had to pull the flooring up, pull the walls up, uh, drywall started a little bit of tile, he lost his job. And he didn't know what to do about it. And so, uh, you know, it was an agent actually that called us on that one. So he called me up and said, Randall, I've had this property under contract twice and they pulled out both times because we need a cash buyer and it's in such bad condition right now that, that none of the buyers can get financing. They can't get FHA or even conventional financing because of, of the condition of the property. And so I asked her a few questions and I said, so from the numbers that you're telling me here, it looks like he's bringing about, the owner's bringing about $10,000 himself just to close this property and get rid of it, right? And she says, absolutely, and he really doesn't have it. And uh, so we looked at the property and I talked to Trevor and Josh and you know, our team and, and what we decided was that we could actually pay that guy ten thousand dollars. We paid the the agent five hundred dollars more than she had agreed to with the uh, the seller, and we were able to buy that house and take care of his problems and go in there and fix it and make it something nice and turn it into a, a great project for everybody. So sometimes uh, we can help people when they they get into trouble like that as well. Yeah. So. Give us a phone call. We can help you with your situation, whatever the situation is. There, there's chances are we've dealt with something similar and, and we can at least give you options for how to move forward instead of not knowing what's best. Absolutely. In fact, we'll, we'll always be honest with you. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy coming from somebody that's saying we want to come by your house or look at it, but we will. 
we've always said that uh, if it's better to list it, we'll tell you that. If we think you can get more money, we'll tell you that. Because frankly, if you've got time, if you've got money to remodel, clear your house out, it's in good condition. Frankly, a lot of times listing the property is the best thing for you. But there are those other times when it needs repairs or there's other issues with the property. I got a call on one up in, in Cottonwood Heights by an agent that says, hey, this property's sliding down the hill. We can't move it. Are you interested in it? And I said, sure, we'll come look at it. You know, so give us a call. Uh, we'd love to come help you out. Thanks.